Well, hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, we're totally doing something new today. And it's just me basically masking and talking to you guys. Today is Sunday and hopefully I upload this today on this Sunday because I really don't have anything to really upload. <clears throat> but anyway, I'm coming to you because I am masking today. Today I am taking this Don't Look At Me mask by Lush. It's right here. Yeah, this Don't Look At Me mask by Lush today. And it's made with um, the same ingredients that are inside the ocean salt uh, mask that they make. And this has to be refrigerated and usually stays in the refrigerator for three weeks until you have to like exchange it for something else. But yeah, I'm just putting on that mask today because, like I said, it's self-care Sundays and my skin has literally been through it this week. It hasn't really been uh, cooperating with me. Well, I haven't really been taking care of it like I usually do. Um, so usually, usually in the morning and the afternoon, I usually exfoliate my face with this Dermalogica Daily Superfoliant, which is like an exfoliator but less harsh than the actual exfoliator that comes in like the bottles. Even though that is a bottle, but you know my drift. And then also I have here oh, no. the Dermalogica Dermal Clay Cleanser. It. This isn't really good for my skin anymore because of the winter time. My skin has become like dry almost, so I don't really use it that much in the morning anymore. If I I usually go for my African Black Soap, which is in this wrapper right here, and it's more moisturizing. And then as a toner, I use this rose hibiscus water that I got from Marshalls for like $7, but it's this big old thing. And it has hyaluronic acid in it, but it's it has definitely helped with keeping my skin hydrated. Then I also have this moisturizer by Mario Budescu. It's the, their buttermilk moisturizer, and it's used for dry skin. <clears throat> So I got that and that has definitely changed how my skin has been. I have obviously like like little acne dots but as far as like getting my hydration back in my skin I have absolutely done it. I have said a while back in one of my videos that since the winter has come my skin has been absolutely dry. So yeah I'm just going to also show you some things that since it is self care Sunday I'm going to show you some things that I went to Lush today and got with. Got with. You know I went to lunch today to get some stuff so I can have my baths. Usually on Sundays I take baths and just relax and just chill out and do stuff. So one of the things I got today is a, I think this is a bath bomb. No it's not, it's a bubble bar, that's what I meant to say. It's a bubble bar. It smells like their rose jam soap. Yeah, so I got that, it's a bubble bar, basically it makes bubbles in your bath but it's like a solid so it's not like the ones you like whatever it's wonderful it smells great and then I think I got another one I got another bubble bar here I thought it was a bath bomb but it's actually a bubble bar and it's a candy cane isn't that so cute they put out their um Christmas stuff already so I picked up like a couple of items from that this I really don't know what it smells like but Obviously, it's supposed to smell like peppermint or something like that, but it doesn't smell like anything. So, that's alright. And then here, I got a bath bomb. It's their new Christmas bath bomb. The same, it's like pink. I don't know, I don't remember the name of this, but Kimchi was like the advertiser of this. So, I got that. And basically what a bath bomb does is sizzles in the water and releases oils into the water. So it'll make you like your water like really soft but smell really fragrant. Here, another bath bomb. It's already a classic one. And it smells so good. This the scents I usually go for for are citrusy and floral. So if it has any one of those scents, I'm usually going for it. Like lemongrass is my favorite, bergamot is my favorite, like I said rose jam is my favorite and that's floral. Like those are usually the scents I go for when I am in Lush. So if you have those scents like me, like orange, lemon, roses, anything like that, that's usually what I go for and you know, where. But then we have here this new scent called Pear. 
Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Just oh my gosh. It reminds me. It smells just like a pear. It smells like a pear. Like, I don't know what to say, but it's like a really good pear. It is so cute. You can see here, like, it's halfway split. But it's a soap, you guys. Like, this is the actual soap. And it was their most expensive soap, but I couldn't get rid of it. Like, I just kept smelling it over and over again. And I was like, alright, I guess I'm about to pay $9 for a freaking soap. So, yeah, I got those things. And then the lady actually gave me three samples. So, that worked out. Also, today I went to Sephora. I really wasn't planning on going to Sephora. But um, for some reason, I just was like, well, let me just go look around. And so I was in the skincare area because I'm trying not to buy any makeup. So I was immediately went to the skincare area. And the lady, she came up to me and she asked me, like, did I need any help? And I was like, you know what, I'm just going to ask. And I was like, do you have anything that could easily take off makeup at the end of the day? Because I, I just want a lazy girl routine where I can just wipe it off and not have to worry about it. Like, um leftover makeup or my skin feeling oily afterwards like I literally just want to take it off and go to bed so she recommended me this not the whole kit but she recommended me the green clean pharmacy edition and it's basically it's like an oil that you put onto your face and well not really an oil but it's a balm a cleansing balm so you rub it all over your face with your makeup on and it becomes like an oily well not oily consistency I don't know but basically it's like a balm that melts away your skin <laughs> I mean not melts away your skin but melts away your makeup so okay. and this is actually this was a $45 or $48 value or something like that but it came for full size one of these and a full size one of these is usually $34 so I got a full size one of these and then two little travel sizes of their other good products and their other products are honey drop which is a lightweight moisturizer and then it also gave me honey potion which is a antioxidant hydration mask and i have actually heard about this hydration mask i heard that is really good so i i can't wait to use that that would be this would be cool to, this is actually what i'm excited to excited to um, used because I have heard about it um, and yes and obviously I have heard about these products before I have seen these products advertised before but I just never got around to them like because, you know because uh, skincare uh, skincare any of the high-end places are actually like high-end prices and I just haven't been really wanting to spend more than $25 on one single product yeah, so I just haven't been wanting to spend more than $25 on a single product. And I know that this, like I say, this is $34. i am pretty sure a full size of this is more than $30. So, yeah, I'm going to put this right back into the box. So finding that for $45 was actually, I think it was a good, idea, good thing. <clears throat> like I said, it's by the pharmacy brand, which is all, or, well, supposedly it's all organic and, yeah, which I say is organic and, Totally supposed to be good for your skin and yeah. Anyway, I bought it. This it wasn't makeup, which I almost bought. And then I also decided to pick up this Laneige lip slip lip 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 slip <laughs> lip sleeping mask. It was like twenty dollars, and I know you're probably like, why would you pay twenty dollars for a lip sleeping mask? You literally put some Vaseline on your lips at night and go to sleep. I don't like that feeling at all. So I had this lip sleeping mask, and like I said from the other reviews, people have said that's really good, and you literally can just use a little bit and it'll go far. So so I guess you put it on at night. And just leave it up there and then in the morning you come out with these nice moisturizing and plumping <clears throat> wake up to baby soft lips this relaxing berry infused overnight mask is enriched with berry rich complex vitamin c it leaves lips soft and smooth 
Okay, whatever. I got that. Oh, look! And it comes with a little um, spatula in there, too. Just so you know, also that uh, balm, that green clean balm by Pharmacy, that comes with a little spatula, too, so you won't get it dirty that fast. Um, I really just be taking the back of my nail. Like, it's only me. Yeah, so I'm just gonna wash this off now and say bye. So I washed that off and yeah, my skin looks so good right now. It looks so shiny. It's actually moisturized. It feels very soft to the touch. I like it. Anyway, so that was actually my first time using it. Every time I go to Lush and I pick up a new mask, I try to get something new that I haven't tried before. And that this mask is actually the most expensive one. It was like $13.95. I know. But I'm going to get my $13.95 worth of it. Even if I go over the three weeks recommended for it, I am going to use this up if it kills me. And it stays in your refrigerator, so I got to put it in a place that I can see. Alright you guys, so that is it. If you like this video that I showed you today, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Please also remember to leave a comment and um, refer to see your friends if you really liked it. And I hope I help you out with some self-care today. And please make, make sure to actually take care of yourself. Even if it is just one time out of the week or one time out of the month or one time out of the year. Just, you know. Yeah, so yeah. Bye.